Time now for Night Court, an historic baseball bat used by Mickey Mantle to hit his 500th home run in 1967, was owned by Mantle's friend and Yankees teammate Joe Pepitone, who says he loaned the piece to the Baseball Hall of Fame 54 years ago. Last September, Pepitone says he asked for the bat back, but the Hall of Fame denied his request, saying he had no rights to the memento. Now, that's where we pick up with tonight's case with attorney and data privacy specialist Sarah Gounder and criminal defense attorney Bob Bianchi. Welcome back to you both. Hey, Hi, Shannon. Shannon. Let's go to Exhibit A. This is from the complaint. It says the bat was removed from Pepitone's locker without his knowledge, approval, or consent. Nevertheless, Pepitone agreed to lend the bat to the museum with the understanding and upon the condition that it would be returned to him at any time upon his request. Sarah. Well, we do know that a spokesperson from the museum uh, did say that the Yankees were the ones that, that did give them and donate the bat. Now, there's no proof of agreement here that the bat was going to be returned. There was also an unreasonable amount of time that has passed by here, which is going to lend itself well to the Hall of Fame in a defense of latches here. And what I mean by that is there's going to be a lapse in um, providing evidence here. And also, are there going to be any witnesses? This happened a very long time ago, mm -hmm. and we do know that mm -hmm. there are some folks that are deceased. And also, recounting something that happened so long ago is going to be far, very, very, very hard here. And there may be some mm -hmm. inaccuracies. So I just don't see the plaintiff prevailing here. When you start saying latches, I started thinking back to the bar exam and to law school. My brain starts <laughs> feeling like it's going to explode. Uh, but it's important stuff to know. Okay, Exhibit B, the Baseball Hall of Fame statement. This gets into part of what Sarah said. The bat that Mickey Mantle used to hit his 500th home run was donated to the Hall of Fame by the New York Yankees in May of 1967. Bob, they say Yankees gave it to us. Yeah, well, that's great for them to say, but unfortunately, the facts are, at least as alleged in this complaint, that there was a company, HR it was called, where they entered into private deals with players to make bats specifically designed to their uh, their liking so that they could sell it. And the endorsement deal was between the company, HR, which was independent of the Yankees, and Joe Pepitone. And the bottom line here, as far as Latches is concerned, we'll go to law school again, is that the case of Metro, um, I have a Guggenheim versus Lubell, it's very clear that latches doesn't begin until the person asserts their right to the to the thing, the bat here, and there's over three years that lapsed. He asserted his rights for the first time in 2020. Come on, Shannon, let's. This is unbelievable. He lent this. He let millions of people be able to see this and enjoy it. He wants it back. He's been there. They've always said you can get it back whenever you want it, and now they're dying. They're they're not giving it to him. I say hashtag free Pepitone's bat, Shannon. Mm. Oh, he's going to start a movement now. Okay, Exhibit C, <laughs> also from the complaint. Pepitone has visited the museum several times since May 25th, 1967, and was always reassured by museum staff, including William Bill Gilfoyle, the public relations director of the museum, who I understand has since passed away, that Pepitone's bat was his, quote, for the asking and would be returned to him at any time upon his request. I mean, experts say it's worth about $750,000 at least at auction, maybe up to 2 or $3 million. Uh, quick final comment from both of you, uh, Sarah, you first and Bob. Again, there's no proof of an agreement here, even in those conversations. And Shannon, I think it's pretty funny that he's asking for it now when it's double its worth. So I think we take it to the court. Yeah, I mean, who cares? Mm -hmm. It's Bob's his bad. It's his bat. It's not a contract case. He lent it to somebody, just like you can lend somebody the car. You lend somebody a car, and all of a sudden you want your car back. They can't sit there and say, oh, well, you waited too long. You can't have your car back. I say Pepitone has a right to his property. He loaned it. It's not a contract. All right. We'll see what the courts decide, and we'll keep folks updated. Sarah and Bob, thanks for lending us your expertise tonight. Good to see you both. Thanks, Shannon. Thanks, Shannon.